Turn taking and interruptions in English conversation. Hey, language learners. Today we're diving into a fascinating aspect of communication in English speaking cultures. Turn taking and interruptions. It might seem like a small thing, but understanding these subtle cultural norms can significantly improve your communication skills and make you feel more at ease in conversations. So, let's get started. Turn taking is a fundamental part of most conversations around the world. It ensures everyone gets a chance to speak and share their thoughts. In English speaking countries, respecting the turn taking system is vital. 1. Mutual respect. By allowing someone to finish their point, you're showing them respect. It indicates that you value what they have to say. 2. Clarity. Giving each person a chance to speak ensures that the conversation remains clear and avoids misunderstandings. In English speaking cultures, there are a few unspoken signals that it might be your turn to speak. 1. Pauses. If someone finishes a sentence and doesn't immediately start another one, it might be an invitation for you to jump in. 2. Eye contact. If a person is looking directly at you after making a point, they might be waiting for your input. 3. Question tones. English speakers often end questions with a rising tone indicating they're awaiting a response. While it's essential to respect turn-taking, interruptions do happen. They aren't always rude, but it depends on the context. 1. Emergencies. If something urgent comes up, it's generally acceptable to interrupt. 2. Clarifications. If you're confused about something, you might interrupt to ask for clarification. It's polite to start with, sorry to interrupt, but, three. Cultural differences. In some cultures, interrupting is more common, and it can be a sign of engagement or enthusiasm. However, in many English-speaking settings, frequent interruptions might be seen as impolite. Sometimes, you might find yourself in a conversation where turn-taking isn't respected. One. Stay calm. If someone interrupts you, stay calm and avoid getting defensive. 2. Use phrases like, if I may finish, or, just to wrap up my point, to gently reclaim your turn. 3. Active listening. Even if you feel you're being interrupted too often, make sure you're actively listening when it's not your turn. This demonstrates respect and can create a more positive conversational environment. Thanks for joining us on this exploration of turn-taking and interruptions in English-speaking cultures. We hope you found this insightful and that you'll be more confident navigating conversations in English. Remember, communication is as much about listening as it is about speaking. See you in the next video.